Lipscomb's enjoying its best start in school history. It's been incredible, you know, I think they've worked so hard. The Bisons are 15 and 5 and have earned their first ever national ranking in the women's tennis top 75. We had a hard schedule this year and we did that on purpose because we thought that this group could do something really special and you know it's just constantly every week getting them to believe in themselves a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more and the beliefs there in part because of the team head coach jamie aid and associate head coach dwight dale have built it inspires me a lot like seeing everyone winning their matches and i'm like okay alina you need to win this one as well so we can all celebrate like a big win and it's easy to find inspiration in this group, which has overcome far more than just their opponents. Leaders from around the world gathered in Ukraine today as the country marks two years since Russia launched its full-scale invasion. Four of the six regulars in the Bison's lineup are Ukrainian, juggling tennis and school in the U.S. with families back home in the middle of a war. But for them to go out and do, it, do what they do um, at the intensity that they do it, it's incredible because I don't know if I could do it. It's a recruiting pipeline that goes back nearly a decade, bringing some of Ukraine's top players to Nashville. Now it's giving them protection and community on a college tennis team. Lipscomb has helped me a lot, as well as the tennis team, me being able to play. I'm very grateful for that opportunity. And then having half of the team, literally 50% of us are Ukrainians. That's amazing. If we're missing home, we have each other. Senior Sasha Dobranos was already on campus when Russia invaded Ukraine in February 2022. Sophomores Sofia Pilati and Alina Chernieva and freshman Masha Dolzhenko were all still at home when the first shots of the war were fired. Tonight, Vladimir Putin unleashes a tidal wave of violence as Russia launches a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. It's one of the most hardest topics for me. I'm always starting to cry when I'm talking about it. The, the whole world completely changed that moment. I've also been in Ukraine. We've been in the most dangerous area. We were like waking up, going into like some safe places and just like sitting and like praying for everyone. For everyone. Texting my mom, like, what should we do? The war started. She's like, we gotta stay calm. Everything is fine. And I'm texting her, no, we have to leave. We have to leave the country. We can't stay here. Tennis became a way out. A ticket not just to an education, but to safety half a world away. <laughs> the faith-based university embraced the quartet with an assist from the Nashville community that helped house the families of two former players when the war began. The whole philosophy has been, you know, this is a family pulling kids from all over the world before the war even started. And you say these things in the recruiting calls, you know, we want this to be your home, this to be a, a second family. When that comes into play, it brings that to fruition. With that support, the players have not just survived, they've thrived. Dobranos was first team all A son a year ago, and Pilati and Dolzhenko could join her on all conference teams this season. Combined, the four Ukrainians are more than 40 matches above 500, and the biggest reason Lipscomb could make even more history with its first ever A son title next week. The confidence like grown like a lot, knowing that we are now like ranked team. We are like doing good. We've done for this semester, this whole season, more than we've had in, or Lipscomb has had in the history. And I truly believe that we can win the championship this year. We have an incredible team. The players remain in daily contact with their families back home in Ukraine and hope some loved ones could join them in the U.S. soon. But for now, the tennis court remains their escape and Lipscomb their second home. If I wouldn't play tennis, I wouldn't be here right now. And if the war wouldn't start, I would never came here also. I think everything happens for a reason. I think people come together for a reason. And you can't help that to look at that group and think, you know, there is a, a purpose behind this. People come and go in your lives. But the neat thing about college athletics is a lot of those people are gonna be in your life forever. I haven't had a chance to see my parents or my siblings in a long time. 
but I'm hoping that it's going to end really soon. And we're all going to be back together, hopefully here, maybe. <laughs>